Our organization incarceration rehabilitates offenders that have broken the law in some way or another. We have electronic health records, which are our offender records for their medical. We also house the offender record itself. That's for their um, arrival and release and their, um, their sentence orders. Correctional facilities or anything within the correctional law enforcement arena the more and more that we have legal um, challenges and, and issues within our facilities, we have to be data ready because everybody's looking for those data points, those data elements. Data helps provide a story. We went through a disaster recovery exercise. and In fact, we thought we had lost some data. We don't have time to have data loss. One quick call to Convoke Support helped us. They identified the problem. We uh, actually didn't lose any data and we were back up and operational within the hour. One of the things we do at Convo is we have a screen, to actually a couple screens dedicated to Convo to show our backups that are, 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 are positioned throughout the state and making sure that they're successfully backed up. Or if they're not successfully backed up, let's get on it and figure out what's the, what's the challenge. We're actually at a uh, paradigm shift in corrections where we're, we're leaving the old paper and moving to more of the technology era. Everything in prison is technology. So as far as in thinking about data, everything is a data point. Whether it's uh, video, um, we have a lot of cameras. In one facility, we probably have about 800 cameras. Them are all data points that we take and we're looking to do artificial intelligence with. We're looking to do data-driven intelligence as well. So as far as in our data strategy and, and things we get together, we take a look at where we're, where we're heading. We actually come to Convo, look at where they're going, and we kind of line the maps and say, okay, hey, where should we be in the next three years? And that's helped us stay as one of the most technology states when it comes to corrections in the United States.